My name is Marcus Fry, and this is my shop, MFR Enterprises. I started the business about eight years ago on my own after competing in regional drifting. The vehicle we're building this year is an early 70s 240Z. This is going to be built to an IMSA spec regulation, so it has the full IMSA spec wide body from a company in Arizona. Original L-Series orientation engine, except this is a stroked L-Series, so it's a 3.1 liter, and he was able to acquire a set of the 50 millimeter Solex side draft carburetors. The fuel system is going to be a Pyrotech fuel cell with an external low pressure pump and scavenge tank. The fuel pressure regulator is probably going to be aeromotive. We'll mount it on the firewall. These carburetors run on really low fuel pressure. It's only around four pounds. And for a transmission, we're using the T5 that came in a 280ZX. All the suspension is from Arizona Z Car, so it's all billet lower control arms. The front suspension, we stuck with the classic 280Z strut design, and we're using Arizona Z Car's five lug conversions. So they're actually Willwood five lug hubs. Tires are gonna be from Toyo. We're running R888 R's. Front is a 315-3018, and the rear is a 335-3018. For wheel size, the rears are 18 by 12 and a half, and the fronts are 18 by 11 and a half. And the wheel brand is going to be Works Racing. All the windows on the car will all be polycarbonate, with the exception of the windshield, because I've had problems with windshields being polycarbonate. They scratch really easily. Can't use windshield wipers on them. I want something that'll be easy to clean and last. One driver's seat is going to be a bride. The car is going to be set up to only have the ability to have the driver. The cage is going to be running through the passenger side compartment, so no passenger seat. The uh, steering column assembly is all going to be handmade by me, something that's very basic. So inch and three quarter shaft, two U-joints, we're keeping the stock uh, manual rack and pinion steering setup, so it's, it's what they call a front steer, because the rack and pinion is in front of the cross member. It's definitely nice to see manufacturers that aren't in the spotlight. You see stuff that you wouldn't see in a magazine. You only see it there. So there have been technologies and parts that I have seen years before they actually hit the shelves or have been advertised. This is different. I'm showing my skills. These are all things that I've learned over my lifetime from my family's background in racing and from my own personal experiences. And I can't explain what it would be like to win, but if I win, I'll definitely let you know. <laughs>